any hair can turn yellow. Now, of course, it's most notable and noticeable with beards when the beard is white, gray, or silver. And in today's video, I'm going to go over the most common causes of beard hairs turning yellow. Now, hopefully this will give you a little bit of food for thought and perspective on your personal situation so you can make adjustments if needed to hopefully have some kind of personal solution, whether that's now or in the future or if you're searching for this. I promise it will all make sense, guys, but a quick introduction. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I sincerely want to say thank you for checking this video out. If this sounds like a topic you're interested in hearing more about, hit a quick thumbs up, aka the like button on this video. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It's free, it really helps out what I do here, and it will help out your beard. Rather than hope that YouTube algorithm pumps this content to you randomly, if you subscribe, you're more likely to see the new videos. You're more likely to have a spot to go back and check out the old videos. And I just want to say thank you to those returning subscribers, and welcome to the new ones. Let's get into it. The most two common ways of your beard to turn yellow, kind of a weird way to say it, but we're there, would be smoking and pollution. Now the other two common ways, not quite as common, but the other two would be hard water and then different medications. And we'll talk about all of those and then kind of go from there. So let's start at the beginning, smoking. If you smoke cigarettes especially, right, you're going to eventually have some yellowing of the beard unless you're doing something to prevent it, something to treat it, which oftentimes they're not the best options out there, especially when it comes to something like cigarette smoke. Now, you can go down the line and things are lesser. Dan, what about cigars? Lesser than cigarettes, but still can cause yellowing. Dan, what about vaping? I don't know there. I don't have enough information. I don't have any experience or really any real knowledge. I know, though, Smoking cigarettes is the easiest and the most potent way to turn that beard of yours yellow. The second one is kind of out of your control and kind of a bummer, but it is real, pollution. If you're in an area with heavy pollution, right? We, we know those areas, you've smelled them, you've been there. If not, you're lucky, thank goodness. That pollution 100% will start tinting your beard, start turning those hairs yellow, and unless you move, there's not really anything you can quite do about that. And so that's a big bummer, right? The initial solutions would be stop smoking and move. Now let's go over onto the other side of things where these do happen. They're just not quite as common. One would be hard water. Now you can tell if you have hard water by looking at your shower faucet and then the tub underneath. If there's yellow stains around the tub, if you see white and yellow buildup, right? Calcium, iron, these different things on the shower head themselves, you likely have hard water. And if it's gonna turn your white tub yellow, what do you think it's gonna do to your white beard hairs? The same exact thing. Now a solution there is actually very simple, right? We know water softeners, all right, we don't wanna do it, got it. Go to Amazon, get a shower head filter that's as simple as can be to install, it will filter out those hard water color stains and prevent the coloring of your beard like that. And it's pretty inexpensive. A shower head filter on Amazon, I've seen hundreds of them. And I'm not exaggerating, hundreds of them. And every one that I have heard or personally got my hands on, it's only been like one or two, <laughs> has worked and has done well, but they seem to have good reviews. Seems to be a pretty simple concept, right? You have some charcoal, some different layers that it's gonna filter through, get rid of those things. Boom, now you have a white beard, got it. Now on the medication one, obviously this is a much more difficult one. These would be internal medications that you're taking, usually later in life kind of medications, usually medications that are very serious and very needed. Obviously the yellowing of your beard is not more important than the medications for your health. <sighs> the adjustment there is probably to treat afterwards as bad as that's gonna likely be for your beard. There's not much of an adjustment course that we can take, right? Now, I do want to address a big question and a big statement that's happened from year to year to year, and that is, does beard oil turn beards yellow? And from all of the evidence I have ever seen, all the anecdotal stories that I've heard from people with gray, white, silver beards and myself, you see, it's coming in there. No, the color of the oil I have never seen turn these hairs colors. It's always another factor that's involved. Dan, I think the oil is turning my beard yellow. What's going on? Do you happen to smoke? I do. Ah, there you go. Do you happen to live in this city? I do. Well, there you go. 
It's not the oil. And I have many of you that watch this show that have just straight up epic, dense, long, thick, white beards that use golden, yellow, beautiful oils, and there's not an ounce of staining on their beard. That one is not an issue for me. If anything, wearing beard oil helps prevent the yellowing of something like sun. If you go out in the sun, there are UV rays, especially if you're out in the chlorine, especially if you have other things like pollution in the, in the elements on your beard, that sun can turn it yellow. However, Every single oil that you can have in a beard oil has some aspect of UV ray protection, making those UV rays not penetrate and not damage those beard hairs. It's not extreme. We're not talking like a, a 75 SPF, but we are talking in the single digits to low double digits of SPF that can help out to prevent that yellowing of your hair. So no, you don't have to worry about, in my opinion, in my research, in my experience, you don't need to worry about the yellowing of your beard from beard oil. So to kind of wrap this all up, it's the stuff that's not that great that's gonna turn your beard yellow. If your beard is currently yellow and you're trying to fix that, I'm not the guy yet for that solution. It is something I'm looking into, but I've not been happy with any of the results. There are YouTubers like George Bruno, many of you know him. He has videos on methods he uses to get beards white and silver. Now I, don't know enough to say if that's a good method or not. There are some worrisome aspects to it, but I'm not knowledgeable enough to say don't do that. I'm not knowledgeable enough to say do this, listen to him. I'm just telling you it's out there. I personally don't recommend the whitening shampoos with how harsh they can be on hair, especially beard hair. I'm gonna plan a full in-depth video. I'm actually already been working on it. Once it's confident, once it's ready, I will drop that on my thoughts on whitening methods for beards, but also if I can find the best method possible, you guys know I will let you know. And if I do, it will be something that I feel very, very good about. So hopefully though, the causes here helped you understand your course of action and maybe it will end up in a, a positive result, a positive solution for you. So if you guys could, this is a big one, right? If you could down below, what are your experiences with gray, white, silver beards turning yellow? What do you think was the cause? Have you found a solution? Now, like a little, like, little, like asterisk here. Not everybody's solutions are the healthiest. Just because someone says, I've been doing this and it doesn't hurt my beard, doesn't mean it works for everybody, right? I wanna make sure I, I put that out there, but I do wanna open the platform for you guys to share what's worked for you. I'm gonna get back to you on every single comment and I can't wait. Maybe this helps me out on my future video. Thank you guys. Comments, questions, everything is welcomed. Dancy Bearded, please stay bearded and stay positive.